Hi everyone, welcome back to Boxes YouTube channel where we do unboxing, reviews and product demos on the latest tech. Today we'll be unboxing and reviewing the Samsung S60T all-in-one soundbar. Unboxing and setting up the soundbar was super easy as it was just one unit that needed to be plugged in and then it was ready to go. The design on this is elegant and modern. I love the softer edges as it does look unique compared with most soundbars that are more rectangular with sharper edges. As this is an all-in-one lifestyle soundbar, I feel that its softer design means that it will look great placed anywhere in the house or even wall mounted. The black fabric is refined by Quadrat who are leaders in the contemporary textiles business and it looks premium and homely. The only thing I don't like much about this is that it does pick up bits of fluff and lint from the air really easily so it will need to be cleaned more often than a metal grated soundbar. On the top we have Samsung's logo tucked nicely into the left side and in the middle we have buttons that power on and control settings such as volume and source. The buttons fit flush with the design and blend in well but are also easy to find if you needed to. You can also use the remote it comes with to control these settings. The remote is small and sleek and is really intuitive to use. On the back we have a variety of ports. You could connect it via HDMI, but we connected it wirelessly via Bluetooth to our phones and via Wi-Fi to the TV. It was really easy to pair up and the connection was really reliable. The sound on this was really powerful and that's probably thanks to the six built-in speakers it has, which reached really loud volumes. As we turned the volume up about halfway, and that was more than loud enough for us. It has dual horn speakers and acoustic beam technology, which works really well at creating an immersive sound, as they deliver the sound to come precisely from the location where the action's coming from on screen. So, when we were watching movies, the sound was following the on-screen action, or when we were watching shows such as Criminal, which is dialogue-based, the sound was coming from the side that the character speaking was sat on, which is pretty cool. It also allowed the sound to directionally bounce off the walls, to create a pretty good surround sound experience, considering it's all just from one soundbar. This clever soundbar also has Alexa built in, so whether you want to ask a quick question, pop some music on or change the volume, all you need to do is ask. This is perfect for those long days where you just want to come in and be able to listen to your favourite music and adjust the volume fuss free. It also has adaptive sound which analyses what you're watching and automatically adjusts the audio settings to give you the optimum settings for what you're viewing. When we watch sports we could feel the roar of the stadium and on our gripping thrillers we could hear every word with enhanced dialogue. This allowed me to lose myself in what I was watching as I didn't need to keep messing with the volume. This soundbar has three modes. Standard, which I found was great for movies or general TV. Music, which is, of course, perfect for hearing the full depth and power of music. And adaptive, which is probably best all round as it adapts itself to what you're watching to give you the optimum settings in real time. The only area where I felt the soundbar was slightly lacking was its bass. Now because it's an all-in-one lifestyle soundbar, it was great at covering a range of needs, but if you did want a bit more bass, I'd probably recommend pairing it up with Samsung's W500 subwoofer, which can connect wirelessly with the soundbar. The S60T seamlessly integrates into the SmartThings ecosystem via the SmartThings app, where you can control your smart speaker and other smart devices from this app. Overall, this is a brilliant all-in-one soundbar that gives great sound, has clever AI capabilities, looks really stylish and comes at an affordable price. What do you guys think? Make sure to let us know in the comments below. And if you have any questions, pop them down and we'll be happy to get back to you. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel to keep up to date with the latest tech reviews. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.